today are to sort out the greenhouse so all these flowers, the zinnias, marigolds, cosmos and sturgeons are out to harden off. That frees up space in the greenhouse. Now I have all these large pots which I'm going to pot up all my chilies. I've got two tigerella tomatoes. One can stay in the greenhouse because I've got one 30 litre pot still free. The other one's going to go in the ground so there'll be a bit of a comparison to see how they grow um, under shelter and exposed to the elements. I'm also going to prick out and pot up these dahlias and the same with the cayenne. So these are all happy now. I've had a good drink. So I just need to plant this one outside. This is the Tigerella. And I was in the middle of potting this one up, but the compost, I don't know what's happened, it was absolutely saturated. Look at the water. That has just come out the compost. So I'm going to let that drain for a day before I top that up anymore. Otherwise that's just going to drown. Oh, this is an absolute disaster. Oh, this is a second bag of the um, compost I bought. For some reason it's got absolutely saturated. It isn't open but um, I've pierced all around the bottom to try and drain it. I mean, just look at it. How's that happened? I mean, any goodness is just being washed out. So I'll have to use that almost like a, a tea, I suppose. I'm also thinking there can't be any microbial activity now. It must be absolutely drowned out. If I can get it dry, then I can mix it with fresh compost just to build up the medium. But it stinks as well. It's an absolute disaster. I've never ever had this happen to me. What do I do with it? Any suggestions would be gratefully received. It's just pouring out like a tap. I'll wait and see what everybody's got to say. back to the garden it is a glorious day we've got all to all sunshine clear blue skies there is the odd little tiny puff of white cloud but hardly any at all um, so I've made myself a list of jobs that I'd like to do today but let me just go and show you something so just look at this rose that is gonna be stunning it's absolutely covered some here here so I needn't have worried back in the autumn when I thought I'd um, ruined it by cutting it back so harshly and I imagined I was just going to end up with a little twig this time of year. But 
That is going to be quite a display and I think it's only a matter of maybe a week before those buds start to open. Also I wanted to show you the clematis. This is um, starting to put out some tendrils now. It's in the shade at the moment but in about another hour the sun will creep over and that uh, will spend the rest of the day in full sun. So I'm hoping for good things with this. Bobby's growing. I think I should have called him Figaro. But he got christened Bob. So I think he's going to stay as Bob. That's in Blackadder. Bob. Another joy for me is the strawberries. Look at them. These are the ones that I saved and they've been fine. And they've all got fruit on. And now they're netted, the birds can't get at them. So I shall be enjoying those very soon. Oh, it's a glorious evening. We've had, for the best part of the day, waterfall sunshine. It's been absolutely glorious. And I'm just sitting at the little bistro set now. Um, in the last of the sun, having a cup of coffee. I'm really tired actually. Um, but it's been a good day. I've uh, managed to pot up um, six containers of um, bedding plants um, just for show. So um, I bought some impassions, uh, busy lizzies. What else? Some petunias and um, some trailing lobelia. Um, oh, and some antirhinums, or as kids we used to call them snap dragons. So I've gone for a red and white theme, crimson and white. So I've done that. Oh, it's a pigeon. And uh, I've been watching the birds a lot of the day. If I just sit quietly, all the babies are coming in the garden now. So I've had a lot of baby starlings and they're all screaming at their parents to be fed. So that's quite sweet to watch. I've seen a, um, a very young blackbird. Uh, what else? Um, also, the last couple of days, uh, I've put in all my nasturtions, I've put in the marigolds and the cosmos, so that's all in the beds now. So my beds are filling up. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that no more um, signs of the mosaic virus, but who knows. So mentioning that, so the good news is the landlord for the property next door has agreed that the tree can come out. I've taken some more footage which I'll add to this in a minute um, and you can clearly see that the tree is really struggling it's not healthy at all and um, I'm kind of glad that's reinforced it for me really because I was in two minds having wanted to get rid of it because of the disease it's spreading but at the same time being very very sad because nobody wants to condemn a tree the birds love it, they shelter in it, um, and it affords them protection if there's any um, sparrowhawks or other birds to prey about. So, um, yeah, I feel very sad that it's got to go, but really, when, when you see yourself, um, it's it's no good. It's It's got to go. So there's only one thing left to organise now, and that is... Um, my son, who is a tree surgeon, he has his own business and he's very busy. But when he gets an opportunity to come and take this down. So, oh, I, the other thing I've done today is I've potted up the Tigerella tomato. So I'll take you around and show you. Um, and then I'll close everything up and then I'm going to go in. And while I'm sitting here, 
Um, I think most of the uh, swift have arrived now because the sky is full of them and they're flying really low now. So when I spotted them the other day, there was only a couple and they were really high up. Oh, I've got a little blue tip on my... Oh, it was a little blue tip came down on my feeder. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, there was just a couple of the swift and they were flying really high. So they may have just been passing through, but this lot, these are here to stay and uh, they're screaming as they go across the garden sometimes so they're kind of chasing each other um, but it's been a it's been a good day today and I hope you've all enjoyed the turnaround in the weather we've been waiting so long for this um, and it's been a real joy so yeah I'm gonna sit here peacefully for another five ten minutes um, and then I'm gonna go in